Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is still Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here. You have read it already in the title. Today, I'm going to talk about accessibility tools. If you haven't seen my previous video on accessibility and why this matters in the next upcoming years for all of you out there, take a look at the video to get all the details about accessibility and why this is important and what kind of opportunities it might bring to you, to your company, to your product and services. And today I would like to talk about accessibility tools that you can use as a software tester developer in your project. Little disclaimer, I'm focusing for today on web accessibility tools. There might be some upcoming videos about accessibility on mobile or other products uh, or like technologies, but for now, for today, it's web. So let's, let's dive into the topic for today and what I brought for you here in this video. So first of all, accessibility testing tools are coming already with different operating systems that you are running on your computer being it Microsoft uh, or being it Apple devices, for example. So there are already uh, accessibility tools included. Of course, there are paid solutions out there that you can go and check out if they fit your need that you would like to do with your tool. And last but not least, there are also like plenty of open source tools available. And as I mentioned, I will give you like a quick overview of some of the tools that I have seen and some of the tools that I will also demo for you today. And last but not least, there are like different tools with different types of impairments on the market. And as I mentioned before, they are already included in the operating system, so partially at least. So let's take a look at the built-in solutions. So as I said, there are plenty of features already offered. They usually cover the following things. Visual impairment, hearing impairment, or motor or motion impairments that my people might have. So there can be, um, there are features like voiceover, visual effects, magnifying tools, color filters, for example, contrast change, and so forth and so forth. So if you would like to pause the video now and go to your settings of your operating system to find out what accessibility functionalities are already there, do it, take a minute, take a two, take three to five, and check out what you can do with the tools. And here you get a quick overview on the Microsoft and on the, the Mac side. And for now, without further like the theoretical uh, talking, I would like to show you hands-on uh, a demo that I brought for you today uh, regarding web accessibility tools. And as you already see on that slide here, down in the video description, you will as always find all the links for you to follow up on for to get an overview about the accessibility tools that are available, what are resources and so forth and so forth. And also some links that might help you to get some inspiration what you can do in your web product. So let's take a look. So we're jumping out of the screen and we open up uh, a web browser. So the first thing I would like to do, or I'd like to show you is the, oh, let's close that for a second, the WAVE, the Web Accessibility Evaluation Tools. And that's really cool. Um, it's a website that you can also add as a browser extension. And you can, if you would like to know, as I mentioned before, you can find everything in the video description. But the cool thing is here, you can provide your web, access, or your web address of your product um, to act basically to check what kind of accessibility measures you already like have on your product, for example. So let's take a look at my blog. So it's www.adventures, oops. Cannot type anymore. And okay. so you enter the URL and then hit the enter button. And then you can see that you get like an overview of the product that you have. And you can see there are like a lot of highlights on the things and on the left hand side you get a summary so there's one error on my blog i have four contrast errors i had to implement 19 features i have 16 alerts and so forth and if you scroll down the side you get basically a highlighted um, insight on the things that you can improve so for example if i click here so there's a redundant title text so it, it appears the same time so it might be confusing for people that have a visual impairment that they would like to, to read my blog, for example. And there's another redundant link here as well, and so forth and so forth. There's also one problem with the accept cookie here. So it's very low, low contrast for people 
with yeah again color blindness and so forth and so forth and that's a really cool thing and if you can also go into the details and then you can dig deeper in what you can improve in terms of web accessibility you don't you only not only get it like the summary overview you could also like get ref references like why uh, certain things coming up and that's with the information icon that i just showed you here so if you click it here you get some further information like why it matters, what it means, and what to do, basically. And that's great. And then you also get an order, like how uh, like a screen reader, for example, will read out your web application. So first of all, it starts with a cookie banner and so forth, link policy, imprint going to the, basically it, it goes yeah, around that, that section here, and then it starts on the top left corner, and then it goes down the application or the product. So, so if you would like to check it out, your web product, that's the way to go. Easy peasy for you to check like what's going on with your product. Um, the another URL that I had in my in my um, PowerPoint slide was the Wex Web Accessibility Evaluation Toolist. And here you can go ahead and check all kinds of information regarding accessibility tools that, yeah, that are available. You know, as you can see, the list is long. The, the progress bar here, like the, the, the slider is really long. So you can you can follow up on the links here as well to get more information about web accessibility tools. And there's another resource link that I would like to show you. And that's about, yeah, it's called resources, the LE or the A11Y project. And yeah, you can also go deep into like the topic of resources, like what are books that are recommended to read? What are good browser extensions? What to do in with colors and so forth and so forth. So as you can see, Get lots and lots of information when it comes to accessibility and what you can learn in order to learn all about it and I'll like also like what are the next steps to do. So there is another link. I always have this one open. Um, so it's another um, overview of accessibility tools that you can find here as well. And again, a lot of things for you to follow up on, which I highly recommend you to follow up. And last but not least, um, I would like to show you basically what the Chrome browser has to offer and also other browsers have to do it. And for example, in Chrome, you can have the full accessibility tr within the Chrome developer tools. And as well, I have the, the links in the video description, maybe below here, um, to get all the information about the Chrome developer tools, what you can uh, do with it and so forth and so forth. Again, two links that I put into the video description, but without like just theoretical talking, I can quickly show it again on my blog. So we open up my blog, uh, Adventures in QA. And so if you would like to enter the Chrome developer tools, you can just do a right click on your website, do inspect, and then you, you get you get basically this view. You get the elements like the, the HTML DOM or like the HTML elements that you can see, you can highlight, you can mark over it to see everything. And then if you open up the this on the what's this on this sub menu you have an accessibility entry and the first time you open that up you can uh, basically click that one enable full page accessibility tree you have to reload your page and then you might have seen it you get that little icon over here and that's basically the accessibility tree and if you click that one make this this one a bit bigger so it's in the top right corner you get the accessibility um, entries of your page. And that's really convenient for developers to, to really check out like what has been implemented or what have been implemented in terms of accessibility measures for handicapped people with different impairments. So you can really dig into the different, um, uh, different DOM elements here from an accessibility point of view and then add the respective area labels, for example, to improve your product in terms of accessibility. And that's really cool. And I think also the other, the other um, um, browsers have this as well implemented. If not, you will find like tons of extensions that you can put, for example, into Firefox and other browsers in order to enhance the capabilities and feature set for you um, regarding accessibility. Yeah. So that's, that's really cool because it comes all out of the box basically in, in, in the modern de development toolkit for, for web applications. And, and also like the tools like the wave report for, for your blog or for your application is coming out of the, uh, out of the, uh, out of the blue to, so to say it's for free, free to use. And it, I think it's a perfect starting point for you to, yeah, to start looking into your issues that you might have with your, with your pl uh, web platform. Yeah. 
And, and one more thing that I would like to show you in the, in the, in the end of the video is a, a, a project called equalweb.com. Again, video description. And, and just, I will not go into like what, what's on the web page basically, but what they have done in a really great fashion is this thing that you see in the top, le top, le uh, top lower, the lower left side, sorry. Um, it's this, this icon that shows you like, a, it looks like a handicapped person in a wheelchair. And if you click that one, you can explore the accessibility options that you can use on that web page, for example. So you can do like, okay, blindness on and off. So you can see like what's going on now uh, on the side. And if you have like a screen recorder now that um, that's now um, starting to read out for you, for example, or you can, you can turn it on and off again. So it will reload the page and it will show you what kind of things you can do in order to cover the different impairment types. And this is a really cool thing because imagine you have this, I think let's call it widget on your web product and you can enable it for your customers. This will be a huge, huge difference for them. So for example, let's say we, we are changing the, the colors, you know, it's so easy. You can just adjust the colors of the application for people with with color blindness or with, with problems uh, seeing different colors. So you can change the background. You can also switch to headings, make that in a different state. For us, the one, the people that can see clearly and can use everything with our hand and it, it, it feels like different, it feels weird. Like why should somebody do that, right? I mean, changing the contrast and also the content to a different color scheme, but people with impairments will be happy to have such a widget, uh, widget within the web application and that's really cool and yeah if you would like to invest heavily in your accessibility for your web application and also keeping the um, the accessibility act of 2025 in mind this might be a solution for you to implement and of course depending on your target customers that you might have that you might would like to address uh, you don't need to implement everything from the beginning but you can start from like from a very first step do little tiny baby steps, so to say, and implement what you think is right for your customer target base and then enhance it on each increment. And this will enable a lot of people to your product and will give you so much more loyalty when it comes to your product. And of, as I mentioned in my previous video, it will open up a huge, huge new target audience for you and your product. So yeah, that's a really cool tool, a really cool feature that I found on the internet. And I think there are like all the other examples uh, similar to that uh, as well uh, available. And yeah, that's basically for today, for that video. It's like a, a quick overview about the accessibility tools for web applications out there. Please let me know in the comments, like what are the tools or what are resources that you find interesting when it comes to accessibility. Please, please share them with us in the comment section below because I think we can all benefit from, from this resource. And if I got like lots of replies, I can also make a list or like a section on my blog uh, to, to highlight all the accessibility stuff that is out there. That would be great. And as always, leave a some thumbs up, leave a subscription in case you would like to support me to ring the bell, tick it as well to not miss any upcoming videos. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I have a long list of ideas in mind. And if you also have a topic that you would like to address me or like would me like to address for you, leave it as well as a comment in the sections below. Happy to read out all, all of them. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Good night. Good morning. Whenever you start watching the video. See you and bye bye.